My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. From the comfort of my chair, I make a pretty good amount of money and I'm going to show you how I do it. But I have a day job, a regular 9 to 5 which makes it much harder for me to buy shoes. For the most part, I can make it work out. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. It's January 5th, not much going on today, other than the PlayStation's dropping, which I took a huge L on, but it's not that big of a deal. But today I am gonna go to Stadium Goods and drop off my Yeezy 350 Reflectives and a couple of regular 350 statics. The Yeezy Reflectives look super nice. They look so cool in the dark, especially if you have a bunch of them lined up, like in the video that you're seeing right now. My girlfriend came and she's gonna help me with the camera work and she's gonna help me bring the shoes there. We'll see you at Stadium Goods. For anyone that doesn't know, Stadium Goods is a consignment shop. That means sellers would drop off their items in the store and when someone buys their item, the seller gets paid and Stadium Goods takes a percentage of the sale. picked up our payout from Stadium Goods and this is better. 1.3k more or less. So that it is Sunday, January 6th, and we are on our way to my mom's house right now. So I expect a drop at 8 o'clock for the Nike SB Dunks pigeons. So we're gonna see how that goes. So me and her are both gonna try and cop from the network app, but just in case anything happens, I have my NSB monitor. There was never any announcement for an online drop, but I'm just prepared just in case it does happen. There's supposedly one minute before the drop and it's still under maintenance. Okay, so it just turned nine and nothing's happening. Uh, nothing popped up on the monitor either. Oh wait, we just got a notification from Instagram. Okay, due to malicious bot attacks, tonight's wow. episode of the network has been postponed until further notice. Yeah, no drop tonight probably. And if I get a notification from any of my cook groups, then I'll try again. Alright, just got out of work. Jordan 1, Rookie of the Year restock today and the best size they had was a 10.5 and i ended up copying so it was a pretty easy cop i don't expect to make a lot of money off of it maybe like 40 dollars maximum that's a w for today this is getting really cold so i'll see you at home boxes These are static reflective 350. And the other package is. Let me tell you something about these mice. My bot had accidentally purchased 15 of these. I only meant to buy four because I wasn't sure if they were going to resell. I ended up reselling each for $150 and I paid like $81 for each of them. I'm going to have my profit list on the screen right now. A lot of people slept on these. I made a pretty good amount of money. Anyone who slept on these and said they were bricks, y'all missed out on the easiest money of your life. So yeah, don't sleep. It's Tuesday morning, on my way to work again, and while I was asleep, I sold two more Yeezys. And they are selling pretty fast, a lot faster than I expected, so I'm starting to think I could get a lot more money out of it. Just got out of work, 
So all the shoes that we dropped off at Stadium Goods on Saturday have now been sold. So that's four static reflectives and two non-reflectives. How are you gonna ship out a shoebox in a poly bag? I hope it's not absolutely destroyed. That would be so sad. Well, the box has a nice rip on the side and it's super dented. Well, it's pretty beat up. I find it really strange, but anyways, Sports Illustrated, size nine and a half. This is another EZ350 reflective. So these actually aren't listed on stadium goods just yet. So I can probably list it for $800 or something and see if someone ends up buying them. The package that I've been waiting for for quite a while. And this is one of my first unboxings that I'm actually really excited to do. So, what's in the box? Whoa. Huh. Damn. They went OD on this box. This box is mad extra, dude. Oh, shoot. I can't even, I can't even open it without undesing it. Like, for me to see the shoe, I have to rip the stickers off. Looks like you guys can't see what's inside the box. Because I don't want to un it. If I ever try to sell it somewhere, I don't think uh, they're going to accept it if I uh, remove the stickers. This is really neat. Really, really neat. Look at that. Fits perfectly. Like, it was made to be in my shell. Okay, so... Joey got home. Hi, babe. Oh no, I'm ugly. <laughs> and apparently there was a package in the front as well. So, um, so I'm gonna do another unboxing. Another easy. What do you know? Non-reflectives. Size. Should be five and a half. Ta da. There was an announcement that the network app is rescheduled to drop later tonight in two minutes. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think it's going to drop. Oh my gosh. Dude, people are actually are actually getting into the app. I gotta keep trying. Knowing that there are some people in, I'm I'm just gonna keep trying. How do people even get in? They probably got in like way earlier. My chances of taking a W is like slim to none. Even if I get this app to work, I'm probably still not gonna get a W. One of the guys that are in said he's been waiting since 1040. I opened the application like three minutes before the drop. So I think that's where I went wrong. Shipment came in. These are the 700 statics. Wow. wow! I actually got two of these when Adidas dropped it in their 5th Avenue store. So yeah, this is actually my third pair. The other two pairs I already sold. Um, I'm gonna bring this to Stadium Goods and hopefully I can get like 500, 600. That's really optimistic but um, they're going for a lot and they're pretty limited from what I hear. It's Thursday the 10th, so this morning I got a big package in the mail from Foot Patrol. Wow, that is pretty neat actually. The boxes are a little dirty. Wow, this one is actually real. Let's 
let me tell you about the backstory with these. I got six human races. I got five blues and one black. And when I bought it on Stadium Goods, it was selling for $379. So I checked the prices today when I got the shoes in. So now they are selling for around $239 at Stadium Goods. But if I sell it for that price, my payout is going to be $190. I'm only going to make $10 per shoe, which is pretty ass. So I'm gonna see if I can try to get these off of my hands for like 200 to 230 payout. So now I have a challenge of selling a bunch of bricks. It's Saturday the 12th, the official release date of the SB Dunk Pigeons. There aren't too many scheduled releases, so I'm not really set up for it as far as bots are concerned. So hopefully, after today, I get at least one pair. If anything drops on Shopify, I gotta go for that first because that's where it's going to sell out the fastest. I'm gonna be using uh, my Nike Shoebot monitor and uh, hopefully we get some W's on Shopify websites. There aren't any um, scheduled Shopify drops as far as I know, so I'm just going to try my best. After that, I go to the CSS website and try and manual a pair from the website. Wait, what? How do I add to cart? Uh, wait a minute. Dude, how do I, how do I add to cart? <laughs> what is this? Okay, people are saying it's officially out of stock. So, that's an L. It's gonna be a few more websites dropping, I believe. Hopefully Shopify, because that's my best chance. It is 11.58 and Consortium will be dropping in about one minute. And possibly Concepts, hopefully Concepts drop. With Consortium, I believe the procedure is that you have to solve some sort of puzzle in order for you to add to cart or check out. I've never done it before. I'm gonna try it for my first time. Okay, it just froze on me. Concepts didn't drop. Dude, this is barely working. Oh, okay. We got one. We got one win. We're getting closer. We're getting closer, boys. Okay. Okay, I found the other win. I found the other win. Alright, let's do this. Boom, boom. Add to basket. Uh, all our stock of this item is in other users' carts. Sordium, that is a big fat L. It's stuck, and I'm probably not going to be able to check out or do anything for that matter. It is currently 9.51 p.m. There were no other websites that dropped them, but my journey to get these shoes and other hype shoes is not over yet. Until next time.